Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to tune your guitar. Three ways to tune your guitar. First question we must ask is why do I tune my guitar? Well, I'm going to demonstrate. My guitar is at the moment out of tune and I'm going to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Then I'm going to tune it and play it again and you listen to the difference. Now I've tuned it. Listen to Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle Twinkle I think you will agree with me that it sounds much better when it's tuned. When you use a tuner to tune your guitar, you have to know the names of the strings. So we have got a little rhyme that you can use. Emma and Daniel go by eggs. E, Emma, A and D, Daniel, go, G, by, B, X, E. And this is what you must tune to on the tuner. When you put the tuner on and you pluck a string, it must say E for that string. If it doesn't say E, you have to, to turn until you find E. And then you start looking at the three little lights. If the little light is on the right, it means you must loosen a bit. And if the little light is on the left, you must tighten a bit. So it looks like my E string is a little bit too tight. So I'll see now it's too loose. I must adjust until the green light goes on. There we are. There's E. And if there's a lot of noise around you while you're using a tuner, it's not really going to work. If someone is screaming or playing an instrument, you'll just have to get it qu them quiet. You can also put the tuner right up against your guitar. That helps to, to focus it on, on your, your, your instrument. So, and, Emma and, this is A. Looks like A is pretty close to the right thing. So it's fairly easy to tune with a tuner. You can also download an app on your cell phone to, that's got a tuner. It's a, we'll show you how that works. All right, you can go to apps and, and download an app to tuner app. And it's the same thing. You have to know the names of the strings. Emma and Daniel go by X. Right, if you use the cell phone app, just make sure the little dial is right at the top when you're plucking the string. Uh, and it's quite easy to use. Only thing necessary here is for you to know the names of the strings. All right, another way to tune is obviously to use a, a piano or a keyboard. Uh, between methods, I untune the guitar again just to show you the next uh, way to tune. So you go to the piano and you use the same notes. Emma and Daniel go by X. You find an E. Remember the first one is Emma. Find an E on your keyboard that sounds low like this E. There we are. And you try and listen to that E and your E. Adjust your E. Alright, then you find and A. Mine is too low. Then you find Daniel D. the top and the bottom. 
bottom string are two octaves apart so a keyboard is quite easy to use if you don't have a, a, a tuner or you don't have piano or any electrical or uh, device to help you you just have your, yourself and your guitar I'm going to show you how to do that so you go to fret number five one two three four five and you put a finger on the top string now the top string and the one after it six and five must sound the same you can hear that the second string is a little bit too low so I tighten it up there don't tighten the wrong one until they sound the same now my top string um, is fine now I go to the second string in the fifth fret and I press down there now this string that I'm pressing down and the one under it must sound the same can you hear there's a difference the fourth string is too low never never tune turn the one that you have already tuned only the one the underneath one so now I must tune the fourth one sound the same to me then I go one down now the one that I'm pressing down and the one underneath it must sound the same and I only change the, the, the bottom one For the third string, uh, it's the only one that is different. He goes to fret number four. So in fret number four, on the third string, you press down. Now that one and the one underneath must sound the same. Now I come back to fret five for the last one. Now I've tuned it by ear and I test it. Play E. It sounds fine. A. So that is how you tune by ear. It is the most difficult route, but uh, it's very useful when you, there's no other way to tune except your ear. Try to practice that. So we know now that each string has a name. Make sure that all your strings are in the right position. Emma is first in line and it must tighten clockwise to the back. It must uh, tighten that way and loosen back. And that's A is the second one. It must tighten that way. Daniel must tighten that way. When you come to the bottom three, go is in that position, by, B, eggs. So Emma and Daniel go by eggs, and they must all tighten in that direction. So you might need to restring your strings and put them all in the right position. It would be very good for you to learn all these ways to tune your guitar because sometimes you want to use your cell phone but it, the battery is flat and then um, you're not near a piano or a keyboard and you can use your ear. Thanks for listening everyone. Uh, I hope to see you in the next episode.